535, day rate to 6, body feels like a, like a 6 maybe, I think I just, the original plan was to get up and go for about a 3 or 4 mile run, got up and the legs were, were hurting, like right on that border of hurting and sore, just right there, half sore, half pain. So I didn't want to press my luck, but I massaged them out a little bit today, did some light movement just to get some range of motion going so that the blood just doesn't sit there and things feel worse tomorrow. And then did so we do 60 push-ups, 50, 50 pull-ups, did two sets of tricep extension, did some kettlebell walks. Did some back exercises with the uh, with a band. Then pretty much rested today. Did some light cleaning. There's been some crickets in the kitchen area, or at least a cricket. And it's just been going on at night, and it just it's been getting really annoying and louder and louder. And so I thought I was like, you know what? In like two or three days, it'll die out because I checked underneath, I checked on the sides, I pulled out the little pan on the bottom, to, the little tray to get anything under there, couldn't get it, and so I pulled out the oven today and saw that there's probably two feet of space, if not, eh, maybe it's like two and a half, that goes from the wall all the way in, it's about, I don't know, two to three inches wide, and so I think it's just in there in the corner and there's some other stuff from either the old the people that lived here before so the old room old um let's say roommates but not my roommates the old the other people that lived here before or whenever they they, they updated the kitchen appliances and stuff they renovated the kitchen area so yeah, just a little space, he's just hanging out there, tripping away. I tried to spray some bug spray in there, because I couldn't see him, and they're just two little, I wouldn't say plates, but they're not like a dining plate, they're just little pieces of plastic or something that fell off or got broken from out of nowhere. And they're way in the back, and I can't reach it. And so I just tried to spray it. I don't know if that little cricket slipped under there or not, but it's definitely in that corner and yeah, it's just been annoying. So I tried to do that. Then made some popcorn shrimp. Tried to hang out with the pup. She's been a little bit a little bit off today. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if she's just not feeling well or the heat or too much yesterday. Even her it's her whining right now. I'm just scratching her back. some rice so I have a little something to eat tomorrow and did some research on the trip to Wyoming to Teton National Park got a general idea of what I'll be doing when I'll be there in about a month and then still looking at potential paddle boards to run up there and either take a friend with or See if some one of the family wants to go with as well. Well, they'll already be there, but if they want to go paddle boarding. And then downloaded or got a new account for Hulu. Got that one month, one month trial to watch Prey, and that's pretty much the only thing. I'll keep it for another two or three weeks, but there wasn't anything else that I'm too interested in. I think I'll just be too busy with things. And trying to spend time with the pup before we head out and planning to really sit down and try to enjoy it so yeah and then just took a nap today it was a recovery day I just woke up and still felt a little bit tired like I felt more rested than yesterday but I still felt like I was lagging and I don't think the pain in my legs was helping me at all I just definitely slows me down and <clears throat> yeah 
uh, so I just took a nap around 11.30, like about 11 to 12.30. Got out, made a little lunch, some chicken and rice, played with the pup a bit, put a couple things away, and yeah, just took it easy. Yeah, I thought about getting another massage, but I'm just gonna save up any extra money I can for the trip, just in case I get a chance to take a tour or anything else while I'm there. I don't want to be like, I don't want to think that if I would add another hundred bucks, I'm just gonna start saving now. Well, I've been trying to save, but I'm gonna be more strict this next month and then to really enjoy that trip. And looking forward to that. So we'll see how it turns out. Right now it's only about 10, 11, so fairly early. I can try to go to bed and wind down. I don't feel sleepy, but I'm gonna try to turn off the lights and go to sleep before 11. Got the alarm set for 5.30, and I'd like to get in a run before, but we do have a flag football game tomorrow. I believe tomorrow's the last day. Because my legs don't feel great, but I don't feel bad enough to miss it so I'm probably gonna end up going but I I'm not sure I feel like a run would kind of give me a warm-up and then running there would be less stop and go so I don't know how I feel I might just wait till I see how I feel in the morning if I feel okay I'll run then just so I can get it in and not put it off till later because there's only about eight weeks left and I the last thing I want to do is wait till the last three to four weeks to try to get in all this running work, especially after the last year I've had where I felt really, really good. And we're doing just doing track workouts consecutive, consistently, doing hill workouts and trail runs consecutively. So I don't want to lose that. So I'd like to keep these next eight weeks pretty honest. I do want to be mindful of recovery because I still feel I'm on the border of injury because I don't get what's going on with my legs. They just feel funny. So we'll see. That's it here. I'm going to call it a night and get ready for tomorrow. So we're in your life with health and happiness and have a good night.